What's up everyone and welcome back to episode four of the Road to SSL series, the series where I show you how I would rank up as a top 0.1% Rocket League coach. In this one, we're gonna be climbing through Diamond 3 up into Champ. Some of the games we got were all over the place. Chat was mad about some of the mechanics I was using and I tried to tone it down a little bit, but I think this video is gonna be really, really helpful for you if you're like a Diamond or Champ ranked player even and you wanna climb the ranks. Also, if you're new here, my name's Luke. I have over 3K hours in Rocket League, but what I'm best at is actually coaching. When I'm not making YouTube videos, I run the Grand Champ Roadmap, which is Rocket League's largest live coaching program that uh, specializes in taking plat through champ ranked players up to grand champ in just six weeks or less. So if you're watching and you're like plat, diamond, or champ, and you want to get to GC, this offer is for you. DM me on Discord with the keyword diamond for this video, uh, and we can talk details about coaching. Links down below. Otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Jumping into the games, we are currently at 1032, technically the season reset. So we were unranked going into this. We placed in episode three of the series. Now we're unranked again. So we got to play 10 more games. 1032 is, I believe, Diamond 1. Oh, it's Diamond 3. Maybe I'm Diamond 3. I'm Diamond 3. All right, sick. All right, we got first game. Uh, a bunch of PSY players. We're with Bobo Jenkins. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to cheat up here. Ball's coming back left. Most important thing, take the corner boost and turn. He looks like he's challenging, so I'm just going to turn back, let him put it into my corner, and then just control take it upfield. Going to get one touch to the center here, one more touch mi middle, and then get a shot off. A little high. My teammate should get it. He puts it back center, and I think I could score. Now here, I'm actually going to catch that ball and take it back to my team and control. Notice how giving it to my team lets him overcommit. And now um, we have possession here. I can beat him. I'm going to get my first touch off to the side. And I want to follow it up, but my teammate has other thoughts. So, yeah, I want to do an air dribble here. I doubt you guys have my... Okay, if I, if you have mechanics, you can just air dribble that in. That's the best play to go for. But I'm just going to go back and assume you can't do that. Teammate centers the ball nicely, which is good. Here, I'm going to uh, pretend like I'm challenging, but I don't really need to go. I just need to control boost. Once again, I'm just controlling boost, covering net. Control boost, cover net. See that? And now he's overcommitted in my corner with no boost. And I can just play it over to my teammate. We have a one-on-one -on -one right now. Teammate misses the open, but you get you get the idea. That's what you want to do. Way back center here. This is this is kind of a stall. There's no real reason to contest. We're gonna have to shadow here. Get a good challenge when he loses possession. Back control corner. Just waiting behind my teammate. Always being the one back, right? Don't want my teammate to be back alone. Get a quick little beat there, and I'm actually gonna look for a demo here. Reason being is because the ball is already moving towards the net. My teammate misses another open. Just what it is. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's not bad to look for a demo. I'll play back post here. Just wait in case he gets a flick and I'm there. Now, this guy doesn't take half boost, so I'm able to take half boost. I'm just pressuring here and grabbing boost. Grab boost, pressure, turn, and I'm back. Um, just got kind of waiting. We're getting tons of 2v1s, so this is how you want to play. This is very safe. He booms it against the wall. I can get one soft touch. Followed up for a goal. First touch there is very important. Getting that, getting that up bounce, that's what enables all that. No problem. <laughs> Not going to speed flip yet. Just going to do front flips into the kickoffs. My teammate goes for corner boost. I'm going to pick up these small pads and get behind him. I think that's just in. Nice shot. You're so fine. Let's go. Can I not speed? Can I speed flip? Am I allowed to speed flip, guys? I'm just going to diagonal flip. I'm just going to diagonal flip. I feel like that's fair, right? Here, I'm going to flip back. I actually want to cut off his angle here. He doesn't He doesn't have there, so I'm, I'll am i just get back. A teammate whiffs, so the most important thing is picking up boost here and just staying close to the ball. Nice. We get a beat there. Oh, I speed flipped again. Sorry. That's instinct. I'm sorry. I'm going back. It's instinct. I'll just play back here. Looks like he's just going to hit it right to me. I'm not, I don't care about flipping there because he's got no threat. He's just pushing the ball into my corner. Ball's going to come up here. I have a good angle for an aerial, so I'm just going to go for a simple shot. I'm not going to shoot it too hot. Uh, and they, they forfeit. Am I, am I just being mean? No, that was, okay. We're, that was clean. That was a clean win. We're counting that. On to game two. We're counting that. All right. I got Rezzy on my team. Let's go. Rezzy reacts. 
We'll see how he reacts to this game. All right, two simple front flips gonna get a kickoff win. Now I'm gonna go behind my teammate because he looks like he wants to go. Teammate gets a great 50. I'm just gonna follow these boost pads here, wait in the corner. I want to challenge this ball, but I don't. I don't want to go while my teammate's already up. So I'm just gonna be careful. And once again, there's just no reason to commit. Like even though I can touch the ball, I don't have a good touch in my mind. So like I'm not gonna not gonna do anything special. There, I'm just gonna toss the ball high, make it awkward. You know, if you have mechanics, you can do more. But I'm gonna assume you don't. I'm going wide here. My teammate was confusing me whether or not he wanted to go and that's just gonna make a really awkward play overall but we'll get back we'll get corner boost and we'll just wait back like see like I, why are people just people just like go for air dribbles and boom the ball all the time I, I just don't get it my teammates positioning is questionable but we're just gonna let him continue going and always be the last one back here the key is time that bounce so you get the bounce you get the down bounce you see what I'm saying Time it so that you get you get like that that pop up, you know. And now here we're just gonna go all the way around the ball, soft touch, grab boost, turn back. See, we're totally in control here. I love having the ball in my corner because the odds of him overcommitting. And look, now it's a two v one. If my teammate can get the ball upfield, we have a two v one. That's why it's good to. But he's just going for air dribbles again. This ball is gonna go over the net, so I'm just gonna take a wide route and come around. Now, if you're better, you could cut that off, but use the neutral jump. To get down quick and then just pop it. I feel like that was a little mechanical, so I'll go back. I'll play safe. Here, once again, you really want to control your boost and hit the ball into the corner. Now we're safe. Now that I controlled my boost, we're so fine. Now we got a 1v2 technically, so if I can get this ball upfield quick, we'll be fine. But I totally whiffed the first touch. We're going to say that was the input lag. So... I'm going to say that was the input lag. Here, I'm going to assume you can't read that ball. So just go back, get corner boost, be safe. Now, this guy's going to push up too far. So we're just going to make an awkward touch for him. He's probably going to miss. Oh, I thought he owned gold. All right, control his corner boost and make it clear to my teammate that I'm getting out. Go for the ball, teammate, please. Beautiful. A little bit of a backward save. That is tough, but it's just a double jump. Fundamentally. Let him overcommit. Let him continue to overcommit. Once again, we have a 2v1. Teammate makes a makes a tough boom for him. Continue putting it high. Put it awkward, and we get a goal. Am I playing way too good for D... Okay, people are saying I'm playing way too good for the D3. Okay, no mechanics. I'm going to go back to no mechanics. I'll be sitting in the back here. All right, I'll play back. I'll play back. I'll play absolutely no mechanics the rest of this game. I'm going to fake like I'm going. Just stay back. Collect boost. Once again, no reason to challenge. Like, see, like, these pummels into the corner, like, they're just wastes. Like, people are just... That's, that's pretty easy, right? That's not that mechanical, right? I feel like... I feel like that's a diamond can do that. The, the key is just to make the flick to the side. Once again, ball's awkward, so I'm going to assume you can't read. So just go around to the net and do a big wide turn. Looking to see where he is, waiting for the challenge, and he misses. Now I'm going to hit the ball here, and we're just looking for boost. Get a low 50-50, and once again, we have a 1v2, but, or 2v1, but I'll cheat up. Ball goes off the backboard. I'm just going to wait back, collect half boost, see what my teammate does. I want to go for this ball, but I don't really want to commit that hard. Hold power slide to recover, and now I'm just going to fly under it. I'm not doing anything fancy here. Is that allowed? That's got to be allowed. I didn't do any. That's clean, right? Yeah, come on. That's clean. Okay, front flip. Front flip. <laughs> Fully missed. <laughs> it's okay. Rotate around, get way back post. Just keep everything in front of me. Ball's gonna come up. Once again, you could commit, but your teammate's up, so just don't, just chill back. My teammate centers, so I'm gonna have to stay in net and watch out for this. See, this is why you stay behind your teammates in diamond, because they will just center the ball for the opponent. So you gotta, you gotta kinda, you gotta, kinda gotta cover them. And I get beat, because I was flat footed. It's, it's hard to play slow and play fast at the same time. It's okay, <laughs> keep it this close, let's go. Oh, <laughs> diamond baby. All right, we're, we're still winning this game. I'm so confident, I'm so confident. Front flip, front flip, 
I get bombed. Whoa, he just got a... That guy got a flip reset. You guys see that? That diamond just got a flip reset. Half flip to turn back. You guys saying I can't use mechanics. I just got a flip reset. And then my teammate misses an open. Epitome of diamond. Just going to wait back. Let them continue to hit the ball upfield. Get one touch up. One touch in a straight line. That seemed fair. Here, I do want to turn. But once again, he shows that he might be going. So I'll just go back. Just wait back. So that way you're always in position. I can hit that off the wall. I'm going to assume that if you're a diamond, you can get like a kind of a shot. Not a great one. My teammate should score that. Oh, no. All right. I really don't want to lose my first game in diamond. But we did. We lost the first game in diamond. Oh, terrible. Let's say we take the first loss. That's that, that's fair. We take the first loss. All right. Getting into game three. We're going up against Noble and Crafty Pat. And I got my, my 77. Diagonal flip, front flip, clean. All right. So the ball goes up here. I'm just going to go back to my corner and grab boost. Because I don't think this play is going to develop very quickly. I can get back to the play pretty quick. He's showing that he still has the ball. So I'm just going to control half boost. And keep this away from my net. Make sure I'm collecting all the boosts. So that way their team isn't picking up any free boosts. And now I can start to dribble on an angle. Once I feel like he might be committing. I get a flick. He saves it. Nice. So I'll just go back. Let my teammate go. Teammate passes ball to them. That's fine. Oh, he kind of boom ball too. So I might be able to challenge. I turn and challenge. He make it to hit over to the corner. Oh, double. See, guys have mechanics at this rank, guys. See, they have mechanics. Or maybe my teammate's just peeking. I don't know. I'll cheat up. He's going back corner. His read should be awkward here, so I'm just going to go for a simple shot. Can he use both of my jumps to recover off the wall there? Not too complicated. Fair enough. Now, this ball is going to roll up the wall, I think. So I can go back and collect boost. That's how I know that's okay to do. Ball's going to go up here. I feel like I should be allowed to do a basic aerial. Pop that into the air. Stay with it. Basic 50-50. Turn around. Basic 50-50. This is all clean stuff. And just not overcommit. And half flip and get back. Teammate is probably missing. So I want to be the first one there. I want to be here to collect my boost. I'm just going to flip it forward. So here, Noble looks like he's going to hit the ball. So I'm going to fake challenge like I'm going and just let him pummel it to the side. So he puts it to the side here. And I can hit it forward. And now I'm just going to get a basic pop. And I'm just going to fly at him. That's like that's like a half air dribble bump. That's like a diamond air dribble bump. The main reason I know to go for that is when you see somebody flat footed, bumps are almost always the best way to go. Because they can't move left and right and up and down if they're flat footed. So... When, when when they're awkward, you just wanna you you just wanna go for that. That's not really an air dribble bump. That's kind of like a pop and a. I won't even call that an air dribble bump. I'm just gonna assume that Noble's missing, <laughs> and then my teammate's gonna. If my teammate doesn't hit it there, I can score it. <laughs> Diamond, why? <laughs> uh. Paint. He's going to score that. Uh. Anyway, I'll cheat up. You're asking why you're in diamond. Come on. Okay, so he's he's on the right side. Drive. Just don't overcommit. Drive. Don't overcommit. And just make sure you stay in his way, recovering. I just... My, my, my thing is, like, I'm always last man back. I always want to be behind my teammate. Speaking of, where's my teammate? Is he in the net? Okay, so here... You want to you want to you want to get power slide cuts when there are two back you want to practice dribbling the ball to the left and to the right like just when you see one back you want to go for flicks here I'm at the center my main thing there is just making sure I hit the ball and don't give them a free shot here I can hit this ball to the side yeah, I could let my teammate go but I don't want to he's gonna hit this ball up I'm gonna make one touch off the wall that I can follow and then a simple pop Ball's gonna come center. Crafty Pat looks like he's gonna hit it. I'm just gonna wait back. I want my I wanna show my teammates leaving. Let Crafty Pat overcommit. Just keep getting the ball on its bounce. You see? Like keep keep chipping the ball up on its bounce. It's a safe way to go. 
then you're never over committing you're never completely out of the play you're always back here i want to go but they're kind of awkward so i'm just gonna bop it up there and then i get a follow-up but there we go that is game three so we go two and one a forfeit kind of like a weird game i maybe i could have played better i like kind of adjusting and we finish div four 1067 in diamond yo guys thanks so much for watching it's been super cool to read your comments on these videos i hope they're helpful let me know what you like or what you don't like in what i'm doing because i'm trying to make this as educational as possible and i want this to be relatable for you so it you know it actually helps you in your games apart from that if you want to catch these videos live i don't have a stream schedule but i do post noties every time before i start streams over on my instagram it's just one word it's spook luke graham i'll have it linked down in the description below so definitely hit me up with a follow if you haven't yet otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you all in episode five peace guys